Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Pupser here, and welcome back to another brand new GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the unreleased vehicles that are going to be arriving soon, within the coming weeks and months, from the KO Preco heist, and more. So let's get right into today's video. So as you guys know, or saw my previous video a couple days ago, we went over actually the drip feed cars, the unreleased cars that we are still waiting to see and come from the KO Preco heist. Well, actually, the same person that we got the unreleased cars names like revealed, Foxy Snaps, he actually got a hold of the new screenshots from the websites where you actually purchase these vehicles and he actually has outlines of when the vehicles will be coming out in which order and these websites like the legendary motorsports the southern san andreas and the warstock actually gives the prices of what we should expect to come in the upcoming weeks of when these vehicles come out now let's just remember before we go over the vehicles that brockstar assuming they do this this way usually when they release some type of vehicles like this they do it on their event week so uh coming up here on monday actually we should be seeing one of the drip feed cars get released again we're not sure which one is going to be as you know, today, on Friday, we got the Vito Classic Dinka, uh, the go-kart for free for completing that challenge. So that is free through this weekend. We'll be talking about that uh, vehicle in an upcoming video coming out later. But anyway, uh, that'll be free, and that will be uh, going on regular sale price on the following Monday, Monday next week. So assuming that, we should get another vehicle uh on the list or released from the drip feed so again stay tuned for that so moving on to the first car that we have that is going to be on the legendary motorsports uh from this ko preco update is the grotti italia now it actually has two prices and if you're wondering why it has two prices is the first price of two million is actually the trade price now if you're wondering how you get this trade price is that it's a simple thing uh, you're actually going to be getting a call from tom connors in game and it's going to be uh he'll be saying that you need to rescue moody man somewhere and if you actually do that and deliver him back to the casino so he can get back to the music locker you unlock the trade price so the buy it now price is going to be three million four hundred sixty five thousand dollars with the trade price being two thousand five hundred and ninety eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars now if i get this right and if you do that uh little like call from tom connors and do that you know mission or whatever is involved you will get this karate italia for two million dollars again i might be a little wrong on that but i'm clear from the information that i have that you will be getting that car at that price so again you do want to do that uh moody man rescue mission to get the car at its lowest price now moving on to the southern san andreas site as you know we have some plenty of drip feed cars on this site again we will start down in the bottom of this page and it, it has the dinka Vito classic now as you know this car is free for this weekend only in gt online because of that challenge that i talked about in the beginning of this video but it looks like this free car that we have in gt online right now isn't going to be cheap at all it's almost close to nine hundred thousand dollars as you can see the price for this vehicle is eight hundred and ninety five thousand dollars moving on to the dinko veteran modern this is probably the one that's most exciting um that is going to be a little bit more and is going to be nine hundred and ninety five thousand dollars now moving on up to the top right of your screen we have the bf weevil and that has a pr 
trade price as well and i'm pretty sure it's the same little side mission as well so the buy it now price is going to be eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars with a trade price of six hundred and fifty two thousand five hundred so there is a big difference on that moving on to the vapid slam truck I did expect this price. It's a little expensive. Uh, it's going to be $1,310,000. I thought the slam truck would be just a little expensive because uh, people probably really want it. And just because of all the features, you know, because you can like pull a car right up on it. And lastly, from the San Southern San Andreas site, we have the Grotti Bristo 3. And that has a trade price as well. But we're going to start at the buy it now price of six hundred and ten thousand dollars with the trade price of four hundred and fifty seven thousand five hundred so wow that is a price difference as well now moving on to the last site with the drip uh, cars on it is the war stock and carry moving on to the one we're going to start with the manatee scout that is going to start out of a price of two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars moving on to the Vitor uh, first of all it looks like we can fit up to ten people in this vehicle according to what it says on the website again in my previous video we didn't have like a limit of how many people we can get looks like there's a trade price on this as well with the buy it now price being one million six hundred and thirty thousand dollars with the trade price being $1,222,500. Moving on to the Squatty on the top right, that is $1,130,000. Moving on to the Weaponized Dinghy, it's $1,850,000. And then lastly is the Verus, $192,000. So overall, again, this stuff is a little pricey, not going to lie. Could it be worse? Yes, Rockstar could have, like, put the prices extremely expensive, but it looks like they didn't want to do this for the biggest update ever. Now, Foxy Snaps on Twitter actually posted what he thinks the release order is going to be, and he, of course, thinks on the Legendary Motorsports at the Italia is going to be first and then he thinks on the southern san andreas it's going to be the veto the veto 2 the weasel slam truck in the bristo 2 on that website and then moving on to you know the warstock cash and carry he thinks the sparrow 3 is going to be released first the visa the manchester the vtr the squatty the dinghy and the versa being last now, all these vehicles are not going to be releasing at the same time. Again, they're going to re be releasing over the coming weeks into the next year and probably two or three months now until we be all said and done. So, again, guys, I want to hear from you in the comment section down below. What do you think of these drip feed vehicles and their prices? And lastly, I want to thank Foxy Snaps for getting these images of the prices i'll be putting his social media in the description down below so you can check out his twitter page so again guys my name is gta pups are here remember to like this video if you did enjoy subscribe for more ko preco videos like this my name is pup here and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out